How's it gang? Welcome back to Uncle Junior's DIY and any kind of stuff. Today we're going to be cutting jealousies. If you have missing jealousies and you need those jealousies to be replaced, uh, I want to show you how to cut the jealousies. Very simple, okay? So here we go. Keep in mind one important factor is that say if you have a, a 34 inch uh, length that you need cut, you need to cut one 34 inches to replace the broken one. You would want to buy one that is 36 inches, at least 36 inches. This is the guide. Anything under inch and a half will be hard to cut, okay? So if at the end, if it's a 34 inch that you need, you need at least an inch and a half or more to actually snap this glass in place. Anything less, when you try and snap them, it'll crack, okay? So that's important uh, uh, information you need, okay? So again, if it's 34 inches, get a 36. If it's 30 inches, get a 34, okay? Also, gang, be sure to wear safety glasses, okay? Wear the safety glasses when you, because, because when you snap this thing, when you snap this jealousy, little um, glass pieces might fly in your eye, okay? Um, I've never seen it happen, but it's just for safety precautions, okay? So please, wear your safety glasses, okay? And let's go cut some jealousies. Hello. <music> Okay, so what you're going to need is your glass cutter, a uh, straight edge or a square, the uncle uses square, anything that can help you guide, and also your measuring tape. Also, like I said, uh, this glass cutter, you can purchase it at any hardware store, uh, really available. They come in just single glass cutter or, if you prefer, a kit. And you notice uncle is using uh, two by four blocks. Um, I love to use two by four blocks on cutting jealousies because it's about the right size and width, and it gives you a nice depth of angle. And, snap in that glass in place but take your measurements and when you get your measurements uh, you're gonna put your straight edge or your square and then you're gonna line that up with uh, the line and you're gonna square it right down keep in mind hold the glass cutter sort of like a 45 degree angle okay but don't hold it parallel more like a 45 degree angle so as you watch closely i'll put my square right on that line but watch when i hold that uh, glass cutter it's not parallel i have it up facing up a little bit so I know the wheel will make contact, good contact with the glass. And I score them one good one, and then the second time again. A lot of times you can just get away with just one. You know, I'm so used to going with two. And in this case, it's because my glass cutter is old. Now, gang, when it comes to the short ones, don't use your hands, okay? Use a plier. So preferably a promise plier. And just grab the end, grip the end, and just hold it with your left hand and snap it in place, just like that. This one came out really clean cut. Now obviously, Uncle forgot that there was a sticker on the bottom. So it got stuck when I snapped it, but use a plier, not your hands. Just a bit of advice when taking your measurements. Try and get the measurements from an old one or an existing one that's already on there. That way, um, you get a more accurate cut. Because if you are just about an eighth of an inch larger, you can use the jealous here. You know, it just, it, it won't fit, it's gone. So get it from an old one, okay? Again, if you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comments box and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Gang, thank you so much for watching. Again, aloha from Uncle Jimmy's DIY and any kind of stuff.